Good afternoon, and welcome to Live Jazz New England. I'm your host, Pamela Hines, and my guest today is vocalist trumpet player Christine Fawson. She has performed as a solo artist around the world, including Australia, China, and Carnegie Hall in New York. Christine has been a member of the group Syncopation since 2002. The group has three CDs together. She has a new CD coming out with her own group of amazing musicians, and we're going to find out about that later in the program. But right now, let's get started with the music. Joining me on piano will be Justin Meyer on bass and Mickey Matsuki on drums. Here's I've Got the World on a String. Got the string around my finger Lucky me, can't you see I'm in love I've got a song that I sing I can make the rain go Anytime I move my finger Lucky me, can't you see I'm in love Life is a beautiful thing as long as I hold the string I'd be a silly so-and-so If I should ever let go I've got the world on a string Sitting on a rainbow Got the string around I've got my fake egg up I do the bend day Well, the bend day Hey, come on now Thank you. 
Got the string around my finger Lucky me, can't you see? I'm in love I've got a song that I sing I can make the rain go Anytime I move my fingers Lucky me, can't you see? I'm in love Come on now Life is a beautiful thing as long as I hold the string I'd be a silly so-and-so If I should ever let go I've got the world on a string Sitting on a rainbow Got the string around my finger Lucky me, can't you see? Lucky me, can't you see? Lucky me, I'm in love. But get the people to pay. Thank you. Live audience. Hey, it's great to be playing. Mickey, the drummer, and I went to school together. So we haven't played for a long time, and it's really great to, to see you and play with you, and it's really fun. So uh, Pamela, thank you for having me. And Justin and I go way back as well. Justin knows all the tunes. So when I have, when I have to play gigs where we play tunes from the American Songbook, I call Justin because he knows, he knows many of them, and it's, it's great. And we're going to continue along that vein. The next song we're going to play for you today is In the Wee Small Hours of the Morning. We're also going to interject some um, my own lyrics and uh, melody within this. So this is kind of a, um, a, a thoughtful rendition in the wee small hours. He would call 
In the wee small hours of the morning That's the time you miss him most of all.
you live audience. It's nice to sing for a live audience, but that's mostly who we sing for. Although, I don't usually wear Chuck Taylors on stage, so it's very comfortable. <laughs> the imagination is funny it makes a cloudy day sunny makes a bee think of honey just as I think of you imagination is crazy your whole perspective gets hazy Starts you asking a daisy what to do, what to do. Have you ever felt a gentle touch and then a kiss and then and then find it's only your imagination again? Oh, imagination is silly. You go around way For example, I go around wanting you And yet I can imagine that you would want me to
la be ba be da day so be ba do ba be ba be ba so ya da da ya da da ya da da ya da be da be ba be ba si da be ba be ba de la do do de la do da be ba sa de la de do be se lo de do be do be de ba be ba de ba be ga ga ba be ba sky do ba ba de la be ba ya เสียดายเฮ้ยบอยเฮ้ยบอยเฮ้ยบอยเฮ้ยบอยเฮ้ยบอยเฮ้ยบอยเฮ้ยบอยเฮ้ยบอยเฮ้ยบอยเฮ้
But, you know, yeah, I don't know. I like this style. It's timeless. Well, I have, I have a story to share, too, because uh, I, I did a book report on Judy Garland in, like, seventh grade, and so then I just became smitten with big band music and all of her music, which was mostly standards. And I had this little <laughs> cassette player. I didn't know how to bring the music with me, so... I had this bicycle, and I had a, in the old days, you had a bicycle with a little rack on the back, so I put the, recorded a cassette of uh, big band music and her music on the back, and I remember riding around, you know, with that music just playing out of this portable cassette recorder, so, I don't You're know. ahead of your time. Yeah. <laughs> And then I began to tape it to my arm when I started running and stuff. I taped a, a, something to my arm before they came out with Walkmans and everything else. So You should have invented something, yeah. <laughs> well, they did. Fortunately, a few years later, they had Walkmans and then it sort of evolved. But yeah, man. So, um, so you um, have some performances coming up to help you promote the CD and everything? Yeah. Uh, the next performance I have in New England is at JOSA, which is in... Um, up past Sunapee, New Hampshire. What is that in Grantham, New Hampshire? JOSA stands for Jazz on a Sunday Afternoon. And they have a nice jazz concert series up there. You have dinner and there's, uh, it's a nice series. And so I've been a guest artist up there for a few years. So that's December 4th. It's a Sunday. And um, other than that, there's other dates listed on my website. Yeah, it looks like you just you, you play everywhere, really. All the all the wonderful places I've seen you a few times in Rhode Island, and um, um, it just seems like you're um, you know just appearing at so many places. It would be hard to list. So, what is the name of your website so pe people can find out where you're playing? Christinefossen dot net. Oh, excellent. So, what would you like to play next? What do you have up? For oh us? yeah, let's play. You know, one of my f I've mentioned one of my favorite jazz singers is Rosemary Clooney. Um, I teach a class um, singing in brass for, for mostly trumpet players or horn players who want to sing as well. But once in a while we get a singer in there who also wants to play. So it's a good, fun combination of, of students. And I like to introduce them to new singers, well, new to them. <laughs> uh, and I, it just occurred to me that so many of these students who are in their early 20s don't know who these singers are. So I've been playing lots of Rosemary Clooney in my class, you know, things like that. Um, and it, it, it's funny when you say, do you know who, uh, who's her son? I mean, not her son, her nephew. It's her nephew, isn't it? Yeah, George Clooney. So I say, George Clooney. Oh, yeah, I know who that is. So then th they have some sort of reference, you know. Rosemary Clooney was, oh, what a great stylist of this genre. So the next song we're going to sing is uh, The Days of Wine and Roses. And I, I, I really think fondly of those great jazz singers when I sing a song like this. wasn't there before the lonely night disclosed just a passing breeze fill 
filled with memories of the golden smile that introduced me to the days of wine and roses and you. The days of wine and roses Laugh and run away Like a child I play Toward a meadow land And through a closing door A door marked nevermore that wasn't there before The lonely night Disclosing Does the past 
rushing breeze filled with memories and the golden smile that introduced me to the days of wine and roses the days of wine the days of days of wine and roses and you Thank you. One of my favorite trumpet players and singers is Chet Baker. I know. Um, I'm happy. Uh, yes, I, as Pamela was saying, I like to write new music. Um, but I like to play old music, and, and I like to, to do all, it all. And man, I don't really usually have enough confidence in my, in my own abilities, you know, to so, so that's probably why I stick playing with the American Songbook, but it turns out I love it as well. Um, Chet Baker, oh, what a, what a sound, what a vibe, um, what a direction his music had. So we're gonna play one that he, he plays, he played. <laughs> He's still alive to me, these guys, you know? This is Blue Room. <laughs>
You are listening to vocalist trumpet player Christine Fossen on Live Jazz New England on 90.5 WICN. I'm your host on piano today, Pamela Hines. Justin Meyer is on bass, and Mickey Matsuki is on drums. So going in line with um, talking about younger people, about um, the American Songbook and the stars of the swing era and that sort of thing, how do you um, advise them on... Negotiating marketing, recording clubs, and the whole current landscape. I'm the person to ask. I mean, you know, the truth is, it's tough. It's, oh, man, things are always changing. So I, I can't keep up with all of it. Um, the good news is, I started doing this before technology got to a, this this advanced point. So I, I had a mailing list. I have, you know, um, things set up an actual website before Facebook came along, things like that. So I had a presence and I was also playing with bands um, all over the world that had good reputations. So with that, you get networking. And so then marketing becomes a lot easier because you have, um, you know, background, you have experience, right? Young, young musicians have such a hard time finding places to play now. B nobody goes out and hears them. So... It's like it's what, like one of those things. I, I spent a lot of time in Japan with syncopation in the early two thousands, and I remember we we had a, a you know we we were pretty successful over there, and um, I remember being turned down to play some festivals because we weren't famous enough, right? So it's a catch twenty two. At, well, well, if you had played certain festivals, you might get famous, but then how, you know, so you have to play clubs and the underground for a long time, and, and who knows, you know, things like this. So there's so many things that are out of our control. So that's, I guess, a roundabout way of saying I have no idea uh, to tell, uh, what to tell young uh, students, up and coming jazz singers. The truth is, uh, uh, without, about marketing, I mean, about music, hell yeah, you got to play, man. You got to play. So as long as you have that as your focus, everything should work out. And in my, in my life, it has. As long as I'm playing, man, as long as I'm playing and singing and calling guys like Justin to play with, you know, things are good. Things are moving. Because if I'm not playing, that's bad. So we figure it all out, you know. I'm not an expert on marketing. I'm not, um, I, have, I, I don't promote myself very well, you know, so it's, it's kind of a tough one. Man, I, I'm trying to figure out what notes to play. So, man, I, I, that's, that's what I want to focus on, you know. Great. Well, we want to thank um, Christine Fossen for being on the show today. Live Jazz New England is made possible through the support of the Francis A. and Jacqueline H. Harrington Foundation, the Stoddard Charitable Trust, the Piano Mill of Rockland, Mass., Rick Hansen, Brad Pierce of Starfleet Audio in Whitensville, Mass., and General Manager Tom Lucci, Membership Director Asta Shrista, Office Manager Kate Traveling, and Julie Whitney. And thanks also to our live and listening audience for tuning in today. What tune would you like to play to take us out, Christine? Let's play Hoagie Carmichael's The Nearness of You. It's not the pale moon that excites me That thrills and delights me Oh no It's just the nearness of you Yeah.
it isn't your sweet conversation that brings this sensation oh no it's just the nearness of you Hold you ever so 